as you step out the door on this Wednesday, Jenna. Thanks, Erin. We're continuing to learn more about the deadly shooting in California. Washington lawmakers going to receive a classified briefing this week on the investigation into the San Bernardino shooting, including what's known about the suspects and their path to radicalization. Mary Maloney explains the new information. U.S. officials believe the power is a hero. A Rocky Mount man will spend six months in jail for hanging a noose in his front yard. Jack Turner convicted in September and allowed to remain free with the condition of good behavior. But he was arrested last week after putting up a sign using a racial slur. Turner's lawyer says this is a matter of personal property rights. Ultimately, though, the judge sided with the Commonwealth, saying there's an intimidation factor. Turner's niece talked to us exclusively after the sentencing. There is good and bad. In 2012. A former principal of Perry McClure Middle School was killed in a car crash. According to state police, 71-year-old Michael Gibson died after he crossed the center lane and hit a truck. It happened in Augusta County on Route 250 just after noon Tuesday. Police say Gibson was not wearing a seat belt. The drivers of the other cars are expected to be okay. Buena Vista Public School Superintendent Dr. John Keeler says Gibson was an avid supporter of the Fighting Blues. The schools will plan a way to honor his life and service to the school system. The Department of Training. Today is day nine of our Home for the Holidays Habitat build. It's been a fun process so far. Electricians are coming today along with volunteers from the Builders Club. It's a group of seasoned volunteers who think will harm the rivers. Providing quality foods to students is under debate in Roanoke City. School board members continued discussion Tuesday night about possibly outsourcing food services. But there are concerns about the potential job impact. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson explains. School leaders say... Eight Thanks, Aaron. We're continuing to learn more about the deadly shooting in California. Washington lawmakers going to receive a classified briefing this week on the investigation into the San Bernardino shooting, including what's known about the suspects and their path to radicalization. Mary Maloney explains the new information. U.S. He's a hero. A Rocky Mount man will spend six months in jail for hanging a noose in his front yard. Jack Turner was convicted in September and allowed to remain free with the condition of good behavior. But he was arrested last week after putting up a sign using a racial slur. Turner's lawyer says this is a matter of personal property rights. Ultimately, the judge sided with the Commonwealth, saying there's an intimidation factor. Turner's niece talked to us exclusively after the sentencing. There is good. It took only hours for the newest Barbie doll to completely sell out. Not a shocker at all. <laughs> Mattel created a special doll based on the director of the film, Selma. You see the doll there. The new Barbie went on sale Monday afternoon at 1 and sold out within three hours. Wow. As you can imagine, many people disappointed. The doll is one of six Barbies Mattel will produce as part of a collection. They're based on six women from Variety Magazine's Power of Women luncheon. So it's kind of exciting to see, you know, a special collector Barbie. These are really popular. Uh, anytime you have a collector edition of these things, they sell out very quickly. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to get their hands on them. Muster. Police continue searching for a 19-year-old Virginia woman who went missing over the weekend. According to the Spotsylvania County Sheriff's Office, Caitlin Akins was last seen Saturday when her family dropped her off at a metro station so she could catch a flight. According to Akins' family, she never got there. At this point, police can't confirm if she ever left Spotsylvania. Police say her luggage was found in a ditch. An investigation is underway to find her. If you have any information, call police. There are new details. Day nine of our Home for the Holidays Habitat build. It's been a fun process so far. Electricians coming today along with volunteers from the Builders Club. It's a group of seasoned volunteers who definitely know what they're doing, leading people like me. <laughs> Yesterday, I worked with 84-year-old Walt Woods. You see him there. Together, Walt, Al, and I installed the stair skirt. Now, those are the boards between the wall and the stairs. We all can learn to do something different if we'll just apply ourselves and be dedicated to the activity. And if you find people that are interested in learning, it is fun to do that. Now here's some fun facts. It takes about 3,500 hours to build one home, and Habitat builds 10 to 12 homes a year. 
the Chetri family home. That will be number 201 for this Habitat for Humanity group. And it has been such a fun process. I've learned so many skills. This is our second year, of course, doing this. And we do something different every year, mm -hmm. it seems like. And so, you know, I'll probably never use the skills again, but I you have them know. in my back pocket. Absolutely. Just in case. And those folks so incredibly patient with all of us who have, in some cases, absolutely no clue what we're doing. Very patient and uh, fun to work with. Yes. Christina, the weather. After those first couple days, it's dried out, and now it's been great to be out there. It really has, and it will continue.